sign of the sea. I think I've seen him before. Yes, he has a rather unusual beard. It's not easily forgotten. At the King's Palace in Spain. He's an ambassador from one of the European countries. I wonder what he's doing here. Buenos dias, senor. Permit me to bid you welcome. I'm Diego de la Vega. I came to speak with Senor Varga. I did not my servant tell you? I do not discuss my business with servants. Of course not. Uh, Senor Varga is not here. I will wait. Uh, may I offer you some refreshment while you wait? I regret we do not have any vodka. Uh, my servant is deaf and dumb. Oh, very good idea. Uh, did you have a pleasant trip, Count? What did you call me? You are Count Kolinko, are you not? But I do not know you. Well, if you'll forgive me, senor, you do have a very distinctive beard. <laughs> of course. I would be described to you that way. It would be the easiest way. <laughs> you Latins cannot raise one of this density. <laughs> the cause. The cause. When will senor Varga return? Senor Varga is no longer with us. He moved his headquarters to Los Angeles. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I wanted to make certain who you were, Count. It's very wise. More wine? No, thank you. It's very good, though, for wine. Yes, Senor Brighton seemed to enjoy it. Senor Brighton? Charming man, you know him? Yes, I've met him. When was he here? Oh, about a week or two ago. Perhaps I should not have mentioned this. No, it's all right. I expected him to contact Senor Varga. Uh, what was his offer? I think I've said too much already, Count. Uh, let's forget it, shall we? <laughs> no, no. Uh, what was his proposition? You know, I can't tell you that. Well, then, without telling me, was his offer better than the one made by my government? My dear Count, as much as I would like to tell you, I cannot. However... Yes? You tell me your government's latest proposal, and I'll tell you whether, in my opinion, it compares favorably with that of Senor Brighton's government. Good, good. Diego, I have just finished writing my first report to the governor. Would you like to hear it? Oh, I did not know we had a visitor. Father, allow me to present Count Colinco. Count, this is my father, Don Alejandro de la Vega. Don Alejandro, your servant. My pleasure, Count Colinco. The Count came here looking for the administrado. Oh. If you have business with Senor Varga, be careful. Some of his methods are questionable. Oh, is that so? Uh, more wine before you leave, Excellency. No, thank you. Uh, what about Senor Varga? When I was in Perhaps my... you'd like something to eat. I am not hungry. Diego, what is the matter with you? I am talking to the Count. When I was in Monterrey, Senor Varga moved into this hacienda without my permission. He took charge of everything. Such a man is not to be trusted. Sometimes it's very difficult to know whom to trust. You are very right. The governor realizes this too. That is why he accepted my plan so readily. Your plan? It is no secret that Spain is not in a position to give her colonies much aid. Yes, Spain is very weak. Well, her people are not. My plan is to organize and train the people to defend themselves. Throughout all of California, in every presidio, the men will be formed into a citizen's army to support the regular soldiers in case of any danger. A very good plan. I shall follow its progress with great interest. And now, if you will excuse me, I thank you for your hospitality, Senor de la Vega. Permit me to show you to your carriage, Count Colinco. Thank you. Will you be in California long? I plan to be in Los Angeles sometime. Splendid. Then perhaps you will visit our hacienda again. If everything goes the way I wish, I'll see a good deal of it. I love my father very much, Bernardo. But why could he have not waited another five minutes before joining us? We might have found out what business Count Colinco has with the Eagle. Now, we will have to do it the hard way. Senor Varga, my government is very concerned. It would do well to concern itself with other matters. My arrangement with Senor Brighton is ended. And as for Alejandro de la Vega and his citizen army, 
I have known for some time. Then you admit they could interfere with our plans. Nothing interferes with my plans. Sit down. Sit down and tell me again. Why did you go to the De La Vega Hacienda? I was looking for you. Nobody notified me that you had moved your headquarters. Did you expect to be told? Yes. I dislike very much having to repeat myself, senor. But let me tell you this again. The only message you may expect to receive from me will be the one which reads, California is in my hands. I'm accountable to no one. Is that clear? No one. Of course, my government is very much aware of that. I merely wish to offer my personal aid. In the form of suggestion, no doubt. I am familiar with the manner in which your government lends its aid. I'm sure I can be very useful to you. I've had a great deal of experience in dealing with dangerous intellectuals, such as young De La Vega. You consider him to be dangerous? Very much so. <laughs> in the future, permit me to decide who is dangerous and who is not. Of course, Senor Vega. You are welcome to remain in Los Angeles as my guest. I will do everything I can to cooperate. You amuse me. of his house, Senor Vargas seems to have far too many servants. <laughs> Having fun, Sergeant? Hold still a moment, little one, so I can get by. Gracias. Buenas tardes, Don Diego. Well, Sergeant, I'm surprised to find you leaving the tavern at this hour. Yeah, so am I, Don Diego, but I'm on duty. Since the administrator has moved into his new house, I'm always on duty. Oh, then you've been inside. How does it look since it's been remodeled? Oh, Don Diego, it is beautiful. He has a very large... All the way from Monterey, even all the way from Spain. He... To tell the truth, Don Diego, I have not yet been inside, not exactly. Oh. You see, the remodeling has not yet been completed, and Senor Varga does not wish to have visitors until it is. Well, that's understandable. Uh, then no one has been inside. Mm, only Senor Greco and his servants. No one else? Uh, not even a man with a very unusual beard? How do you know about him? He stopped at the Hacienda to ask directions. Why, is this visit a secret? Oh, no, Don Diego. That beard would be about as difficult to hide as... But uh, he is not a visitor, not really. He's a dealer in art objects from Monterey. I see. Has Senor Vaga bought many art objects? That wagon load is the third this week. If you will excuse me, Don Diego, it will soon be getting dark. I must go and get the guards to post around the administrator's house. Well, by all means, Sergeant, do your duty. Uh, perhaps you can join me later for supper. With pleasure, Don Diego. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find Senor Vargas' art objects interesting? Yes, those vases appear to be quite heavy. I wonder what they hold. Good work, Bernardo. Here, let me have it. Cannonball? Yes, with a cannon, the eagle could destroy the quartel, and then nothing could stop him. Yes, I'm sure the cannon was one of the art objects brought to Senor Vargas' house, which brings up another interesting point. Did the man with the very unusual beard bring the cannon, or is he here because of it? Yes. Senor Vargas got home this evening. And come, Colinco, good. Go to the storeroom and meet me there. Say, 
What do you mean, who goes there? Can't you see this is me, stupid? Yes, Sergeant. Then why do you ask? You told me to. You said anybody I saw. Babu saw? I'm not anybody. I don't feel like myself tonight, Sergeant, either. Let's go to the tavern. Corporal Reyes, you are on duty. Do you know what that means? Yes, Sergeant. Good. I'll make a soldier of you yet. Now, I am on duty also. But you do not see me going in and out of the tavern, do you? No, Sergeant. Exactly. And do you know why? Because from here, I can't see the tavern. <laughs> Satisfied, you, Senor Colinco. I'm very pleased that you let me see for myself, Senor Varga. Now, when will you bring the... Tomorrow morning. But in the daylight. Isn't that taking an unnecessary chance? One more art object, among so many. The delay was unavoidable, Your Excellency. A wheel on the cart broke. It is not necessary to make an explanation. Who is it? Sergeant Garcia, Administrado. That fool. What does he wish now? Come back in the morning, Sergeant. It is very important, Administrado. Just a moment. I do not want him to see you here at this hour. Both of you, into the back room and wait. No noise whatsoever. I hope this is very important, Sergeant Garcia. A thousand pardons, Senor Barga, but your report to the governor is ready for your signature. You dare disturb me for this? I could have signed it tomorrow. But the messenger leaves at six o'clock in the morning, Excellency. I did not think you would care to be disturbed at that hour. Besides which, you would have to get out of bed yourself then. Yes, Excellency. Oh, no, Excellency. As a soldier, I am accustomed to rising with the sun. I can imagine. But that won't be necessary. Give me the report. I'll sign it. Sergeant Garcia. See, si, Administrado. The page that I must sign is missing. It is? It is. Well, Sergeant? I must have left it in the office. Idiot. It is right on the desk. I will go back and get it. No, you will not. You might lose it on your way across the plaza. I will go to the office with you and sign it there. See, si, Administrado. But that missing page had better be on your desk. Oh, it is, Administrado. I hope. Noises. What kind of noises? Listen. That kind of noises. It came from your house, Administrado. My men will take care of it, Sergeant. Come on, Corporal. Sergeant! <laughs> Sergeant Garcia rallied his men very quickly this time. He's improving. There was no cannon. Oh, no doubt the Eagle intends putting it there. The mounting is there, the cannonballs, dozens of muskets, but no cannon. 
that's just it. Where does one hide a cannon? Just a moment. Senor Greco mentioned a cart with a broken wheel. Well, not to me, but the cannon could be on the cart. Now, where would the cart be? On the road? No, 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 we would have seen it. Besides, a cart with a broken wheel attracts attention. Except in a place we would expect to find a cart with a broken wheel. The blacksmith shop. There's one on the edge of town, away from prying eyes. And I would not be surprised if the blacksmith did not carry an eagle's feather. Come then, now. It's thrown a show. Can you help me? Sure. I'll... Hurry, Bernardo. The blacksmith will waste no time in getting to the eagle. We can use the cannon to defend the quartel. You're right. I should have waited for the blacksmith to finish repairing the wheel. We will blow up the cannon with its own gunpowder. It must never be used against our people. Raise the cart. Sir, I was caught in the explosion. <laughs> I consider this value received. Would you not, Signor Greco, if you were I? I don't understand. We seem to have traded a cannon for the life of Zorro, whoever he was. A very fair exchange. Most fair, Administrado. This is 
the closest either of us has come to death, and we did it to ourselves. There must be a model here somewhere. Did you think that I... Well, so does the eagle. We must see that he learns differently. We wouldn't want him to be too happy, would we? 